I'm making a skateboard press. Alright, so I've finished cutting out all my templates. Took me forever. Two hours. But it's all ready to put together now. Screw and glue. Lots of glue. This is the center one. This is the flattest. And then this is the outside one. So our divots down. So basically I've made them gradually go from this to that. All right, so you can see where I'm headed. I've got the bottom of the press all screwed together. So they're the flat ones in the middle and then they gradually get higher and higher, create the roll. And now I've just got to hit it with the belt sander and make it all smooth. Now I've just got to put the top one together and do it all over again. It's pretty dusty. Suffocate. I'm not even in the shed. <laughs> There's a few little low points in the top of the skateboard press. Just filled them up with some carbog. But um, and then sanded it back. Sanded it with the belt sander. It should be probably best to get it as smooth as you can, I reckon. I know lumps and bumps in the board. So I've finished my skateboard press. I have a lick of paint and I've made a, a um, frame for it. Put some springs on it and some jacks. It's pretty freaking heavy. A bit worried that the timber may split when I'm jacking it so tight. So we have a test run. If that doesn't work, I'll have to weld a frame up. So i um, got two car jacks there. Jack both of them at the same time. Put your you apply in there, put these on because it'll help just lifting it back up. It's freaking heavy. I'm still waiting on my plywood. I ordered it last week. They said it'd be here on Friday. And it wasn't.
So I wanted to show you uh, some upgrades I made to the skateboard press. Let's put some strapping over all the timber because basically when you put pressure on the pistons, it wants to split these, split the bolts through there and up through there. So I strapped all them top and bottom, and then I put this extra ridge because um, there's this flexing a bit. These should have been turned the other way, but I got lazy. Ideally, the, it'd be good to have a frame made out of steel. That might be the next one. This is just the prototype. See how long it lasts. Also, I added these little blocks just around the side, so when the um, when the press comes down, it kind of guides it all, so it sits on top of itself. Perfect. Should make it a bit easier.